Welcome back to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. It's been a long time since I've done a review and today I'm back with these guys, Fortnite. Now, whether you play this or not is immaterial to me. Um, I used to play it before when it came out earlier, this, well it came out last year, I, did, I didn't start playing it until early this year and it's been a bit of a phenomenon with everyone from adults to young children being actively addicted to it. My own nephews, well, nephew-in-laws, were actually banned from playing it because of rage. So when there was figures announced for it, there was six inch figure, or seven inch figures first announced for, um, for it by McFarlane Toys. And they're not out yet where I am, but I do plan on picking up um, the Cuddle Team Leader, I think it is from them but this Saturday these were uh these four inch figures by Jazzwares were uh released everywhere in Smith's and there's a big campaign and etc etc and they were all released online at twelve midnight. So I decided to go and pick one up. Um if you go and look on eBay at the moment some of them are selling for absolute ridiculous prices already which is really crazy like this Fortnite craze has really taken off something else. So I'm gonna do a review on it. And if you've wa if you've watched my videos in the past, you'll know that I've never reviewed a four inch figure before. And you might think, what does this guy know about four inch figures? Well, I used to collect Marvel Universe before I collected Marvel Legends, and I don't anymore. I don't have any left. But I used to collect everything in four inch before. So I certainly, <coughs> excuse me, know my way around the four inch figure. No dick jokes. But, um, so yeah, let's get this guy open. Now, I'll give you a look at the box first. It's made by Jazzwares. Of course, I had their uh, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter figures in the past. Uh, the Street Fighter figures were made terribly. They fell apart straight out of the packaging. And they just weren't great. The, street, the Mortal Kombat ones were a bit better. But still, not amazing. But um, I'll just give you a look at the box there. Wall up IRL building material, Fortnite carbide solo mode, and at the back, it shows you the other four. Now, I I heard that these were uh, sold out everywhere, but when I went to um to Smiths to get them, they had the bandolier, they had technique, they had drift. And I didn't really look that hard for Ra Raptor, but I I didn't see him, and they had carbide. And the reason I bought Carbide is because it's one of the actual characters I played as. So, you need the call to action, Fortnite. And if you look up there, there's a sparkly thing, sparkle, sparkle. So now I'm going to behead this box with my scissors and get the actual figure out. And you can excuse all the noise this makes because these packagings, these packages are just hellish open give me a sec I'm gonna rip this open Oop. very very noisy so there we have it the card is out it's a pity like because some some uh, figures you see these ones are clearly designed for kids because there's no putting these ones back in the box like you can do with some some of the figures I review from time to time, the likes of uh, Marvel Legends, God, it's so noisy, and WWE Elites and stuff. So there's the clamshell, it's mangled, there's a little bit of, well, and we have uh, instructions here, in case you don't know what to do with a fucking action figure, but um, yeah. So let's get rid of that. Instructions, I presume this is what this is. Oh, no, it's actually, uh, it's actually more. Bright Bomber, Carboid, Cuddle Team Leader. And there's a four pack with him in it, I think, and the Ragnarok. There's a set for Ross Lord as well. It's basically, it's play on, and you've got all the guns listed there. It's a pretty cool thing to have, actually. So you could like, it's like a little checklist. I like that. I thought it was just like instructions and what have you in a. I'm actually going to hold on to that. 
I can actually check off stuff you get, I suppose. So you're gonna keep that. I'm gonna put that down there for the minute into the so mm, we have that. We have one build piece. Unfortunately you can't do much of one like so. I'm sure, but uh please don't break them you know. Okay, I'm gonna do this out here. I'm take them out of the can. And there's no twisty ties. There we go. So that's kind of stuck on there as well. It's all on all. Okay. Okay, so first impressions. He's quite small. <laughs> I'm not used to these figures anymore. Um he's movable enough. Straight off the bat though. He's so small, that's all I can say, like, um, I will still be getting the McFarlane figures just on this quick little messing around with this guy because he's, like, tiny. He even goes out of shot there to lower the camera. I'm going to try and figure this out now, it's one sec. I'll push the camera down. But, um... Yeah, okay, so, this is carbide. Let's look at articulation. Ankles go a good bit down. Don't really go back up. Legs go up. They go back a little bit. They spread out as far as he does the splits. Knees, it's like a double jointed knee, but I don't, let's see now. Yeah, knee goes this far back. Quite movable. Hip balls. It's like a T-joint, I think. Plastic T-joint in there. So he goes all the way around. He has... Actually has tie swivels as well. Um, elbows. Arms go around. They're quite limited, actually. The arms are very limited. Hmm. Hands go, hands go around the circles, they don't go in and out, maybe a little bit. And the head looks up and around, he doesn't go, yeah he goes, he goes one eight of 360. But um, let's give him his little uh, pickaxe and see how awkward that is to fit in the hand. And yeah, the hand is quite tight so I probably... At the risk of breaking him, oh no, I'll squeeze it in. Fortnite ties breaking first review ever. No, it actually, actually goes well. Fits him anyway. Fits him there. Um, and he can stand this little foot peg as well on the building piece. So he stands up on that. And there you go, Fortnite figure. First one I've ever owned. And to be honest, I'm not I'm not uh I'm not blown away at all, really to be honest. This um like there is a lot of these coming out and I wouldn't straight away jump up and buy more. I'm actually gonna wait for the McFarlane ones. I'm glad I got this though because I know now. And uh, just whilst I'm here, I've got one or two four inch figures lying around. So let's scale him up and get him off of this for a second because that would give him an unfair height advantage. Um, so here he is next to Beachhead G.I. Joe. And if you collect G.I. Joe's, these guys are going to be fucking awesome because he is right next to him. They're like elite soldiers or something, yeah. But um, here's a pretty obscure one for you. A Dragon Ball Z Shodo figure. And he pretty much towers over him. And unfortunately, I don't have uh, any more Marvel Legends. Marvel Universe, sorry. But uh, yeah. So that's my review of Fortnite Carbide. So like share subscribe and uh, all those fun things 
I do have one more small figure, actually. He's one of the fuzzy bear. So, um, yeah. That's Fortnite's Jazzware series. Much better, and of course, obviously, I forgot to do the torso articulation as well. That's the series, and like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be posting this wherever I can, so make sure and drop me a comment wherever you see it. And thanks very much. Bye.